Hi, this is Guy Barker here. Welcome to Herbie.org. I'm going to demonstrate the Tablet PC Speech Assistant program. This software was written by a friend of mine, Todd Lansted, as a communication tool for someone he knew who couldn't speak. The software runs on ultramobile PCs or tablet PCs running the Windows XP Tablet PC Edition operating system. Um, so this does not run on netbooks running regular Windows XP and at the moment it also doesn't run on Windows Vista. The Tablet PC Speech Assistant software is freely available from my website herbie.org. It's mainly of interest to people who have difficulties speaking and would like to have the computer speak for them but also if people have an ability to handwrite because this software mixes handwriting recognition with selection of lists of words and phrases uh, in the program. For this to be useful to someone the handwriting recognition built into the computer must be successful in recognizing their handwriting so people with mobility impairments wouldn't really find this useful. Also you would want a high quality voice installed on the computer and high quality voices are available at reasonable prices from companies that sell them on the internet. Also you would want a computer that has reasonably uh, powerful speakers so that people that you're communicating with can hear the computer talk. Sometimes the internal speakers built into the computer might be sufficient or you might want to have external speakers attached. Okay, so let me give you an introduction into the software. You see on the screen lists of words and phrases which you can select using the pen supplied with the computer and if I select a phrase here for example, can you get me there? Then the words that I selected get added to this area at the top of the screen there. If I then click the speak button, then the words will be spoken. Can you get me there? And again, this is using the default voice on the computer. So I will do that again. Could you pass me the chair, please? So, by selecting this words or phrases from either this list or this list, those words get added to the, the area at the top. So you can build up phrases just, like, uh, just by selecting these words here. There is a favorites list on the left here, which when you select that, the words will get immediately spoken. Could you pass me the chair, please? Now, the most interesting thing about this speech assistant software is the ability to handwrite in the yellow area here. So if I handwrite here, you'll see a list of suggestions up here based on what I wrote. And the first two actually are the same, but just one has lowercase letters and one has an uppercase letter. And there's also a phrase, hello there, and hollow and I might select the one that I want and then have that spoken by clicking the speak button. Hello. Now, the one very useful feature of this speech assistant software is the ability to combine the handwriting that you do with the selection of phrases from the lists. So for example, I might select can you get me there from the list and then I might handwrite the words that I want to add to that phrase. So, for example, I'll write paper, please. Okay. And again, the software has presented some suggestions as to what it thinks I might have written. And indeed, the first choice is paper, please. But the next is paper, then paper towel, then paper plan. So, I'm going to select the suggestion paper, please. And when I did that, it added it to the sentence being built up at the top of the screen. So I'll now have that spoken. Can you get me the paper, please? Okay. So there you can see an easy way to build up 
sentences that you want to have spoken. As you have sentences spoken by the computer, if you have the same sentence spoken a few times, then it will eventually be added to the either the phrases list or the favorites list, depending on how often you have it spoken. Now there are some buttons over here which are very commonly used words and if you click on those buttons then the word, word will be immediately spoken. So for example I'll click on hello. Hello. Or pardon. Pardon. Yeah. Another interesting button is this one with the star on it here. If you select that then the, the sentence you've built up will be added to the favorites list. So for example if I want to do can you get me the... Now again I'll write paper please. And I'll select the paper please from here. Now say that was something I thought I was going to say a lot. So I'm going to click this yellow button and the phrase can you get me the paper please was added to the favorites list. So I'll clear that sentence area at the top and then I'm going to select the new phrase from the favorites list can get me the paper please and it immediately gets added there is also a settings button up here which I'll click and that brings up a list of settings that you you can use to change how things show up on the screen and I added these settings based on requests from people who are actually using the software to help them communicate. So for example, if you want to have the handwriting area not shown, then you can hide it like that. I've switched over to using a tablet PC now. As you can see, the screen is a little bigger, so you can see more items in the, the list, but also it would be a little less convenient to actually carry around with you being bigger. Now, one other feature of the speech assistant software is to click on the favorites word. So I'll do that now. And when I do that, the lists actually disappear and the handwriting area is made bigger to fill most of the screen. And by doing that, you could write two or three lines of handwriting. And so I'll write something now. Okay, and the phrase, would you like to go to the theatre later, is offered here, so I'll click that, and then I'll have that spoken. Would you like to go to the theatre later? And one is interesting difference between a tablet PC and the ultramobile PC that we saw earlier is that the tablet PC has a special electronic pen, and the tablet will only recognise the input at the screen with this pen. It won't actually recognise touch input with a finger, whereas the ultramobile PC that we saw earlier is touch input and doesn't require the special pen. So that's an introduction into the Tablet PC Speech Assistant software. If you think it might be of interest to you but have requests on how you'd like to see it changed, please do let me know because I will try and change it however it can be made useful to you. Uh, so send me email at barker at herbie.org